everyone and welcome back to another Better Minecraft episode. In today's episode, the goal is to end the episode with a full set of diamond armor. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, but that is the goal for this episode. So if you are excited for that, then go ahead and get comfy. Feel free to like and subscribe this video and let's go ahead and jump right in. So if we look here on the calendar, it looks like we have two days left of spring which is going to be super helpful for us because I plan on planting a little wheat field. So in order to get a full set of diamond armor in the easiest way that we can get it, I think that I need to get a fortune three pickaxe in some way. And in order to get a fortune three pickaxe, I plan on trading with villagers to try to get that fortune three pickaxe. And to trade with villagers, I'm going to need some emeralds. And to get emeralds, I think I'm going to trade crops with the villagers. And then I'll put a toolsmith in our blacksmith and then hopefully get an enchanted diamond pickaxe but I guess while we're waiting for spring I'm gonna go ahead and start like mapping out an area for another crop field I don't really know where I want to put it unfortunately the snow did kind of cover up the pathway so that's a little bit unfortunate I can't do it here even though that this feels like a really good space because there's a hill so that doesn't work the land over this way is not flat at all which is not ideal either maybe I'll just put it back here this is pretty flat and it's close to the rest of the crop fields so I I think that will be pretty good though I do need to grab some cobblestone and stone and then I can get started mapping it out. I definitely did consider trading with villagers in order to get a full set of diamond armor however in order to do that I would have to trade with some kind of villager to get emeralds and that would take a while and then also trade with villagers to get the full set of diamond armor which is just a lot of villagers and a lot of trading and I feel like in order to make that be the most effective it can be you have to zombie me purify those villagers so it just sounded like a lot of work and i would rather just mine for the diamonds myself honestly and at this point in my let's play i really want to explore the mod pack a lot rather than just doing typical vanilla minecraft things like trading with villagers making a villager trading hall and things like that i for sure will do the village transformation project and give that its full attention however right now i want to focus on myself and getting armor for myself Myself and exploring for myself rather than the village right now. One day left till spring. I'm so excited. I do love the snow in Minecraft, but I'm getting a little bit sick of it, honestly. I feel like our farm looks so much better during the spring whenever the grass is green. Now that the crop field is mapped out, I'm going to wait until spring actually comes and then I'll plant the crops. But in the meantime, I kind of want to see how the farmer villagers are in the village. I know I've checked out before what they will trade with us for emeralds. However, I don't remember. So I want to go check it out. I don't think they like potatoes. I think I remember that. So we have plenty of onions and carrots, literally so many. So hopefully some of the villagers will take those and potatoes. But yes, I don't think they like potatoes. I'm honestly just so ready to start exploring. So that's why I'm really, really trying to hurry this diamond armor process because I feel like I'm held back so much with just my little boring iron armor. I just really think I need diamond armor in order to explore places. And honestly, to be fair, I probably need enchanted diamond armor not just regular diamond armor but you know baby steps we'll get there and i think that whenever i want to take this village transformation project super seriously i want to map it out with wool and like really really plan it out rather than just like placing random buildings everywhere i love my blacksmith and i love how it turned out however i did not plan it at all so i think i want to map out and plan the village a little bit more Quentin Bag, we remember him. He will take some carrots. Let's see what else the farmers will trade. We have another farmer over here. He will take wheat and asparagus. We don't have either of those. I mean, we have a little bit, but you know, not enough to trade. And are those the only two farmers in this entire village? I feel like it might be, honestly. I feel like we should probably place down some more composters because this village should have so many more farmers, I think. So I will go ahead and trade a bunch of carrots with this one villager and then probably place down some more composters. We got 16 emeralds from little Quentin, but I'm gonna go back to my base and craft a few composters so that we can have even more villagers. Oh, we now have a total of 39 diamonds. Wow, that's crazy. I did not realize we had so many diamonds i did not realize that we had so many emeralds i'm also going to bring a smithing table down so we can start the tool smith i think that's what he's called so we can start that process and now we have zero days left to spring so one more sleep until spring this little crop 
quad is definitely a little bit rough looking. But I'll go ahead and put a composter there and then maybe a couple over here too. And like, what is happening over here? Why is it so crazy? Just because I'm so nice, I will help them out. Oh, yay, we have a potato farmer now. Okay, I didn't bring my potatoes, but we now have a potato farmer. And then we have another farmer over here. Not this guy, this one. Oh, another carrot farmer. Okay, we will definitely trade with him too. Sebastian, Sebastian, the second carrot farmer. And a third carrot farmer. Okay, we will definitely be planting the carrots, that's for sure. So believe it or not, I've never really traded with villagers to get any diamond gear before. So this is going to be a first for me. So I want to place down this little smithing table right here and then get someone. Oh, it could be you, the little chair guy who could be our new tool smith or him. Okay, you are the one. There you go. Is he going to be stuck there forever? I'm not sure. I hope so because I want him to be stuck there forever. This is going to be painful, but I am going to have to trade a bunch of emeralds for stone tools in order to level him up. But you know, it's all part of the process. I think in the meantime, I need to clear out my inventory a little bit more because I'm about to fill it up with a bunch of stone tools. Maybe trade a little bit more carrots with the carrot farmers and then I will clear out my inventory a little bit. Oh, also, I totally forgot, but this is a great way to level up. We're already at level 30. We almost have two stacks of emeralds now. That's awesome. And now to trade with the toolsmith, I think I'll probably get these stone hoes because I think I would use them the most, honestly, because using stone pickaxes is honestly just painful. So that's his first upgrade. Oh, now, oh, I completely forgot. Okay, this might kind of get in the way, but since this is modded Minecraft, the last trade might not be a diamond pickaxe. So we'll see how that works. But I guess we're going to go ahead and trade two emeralds for some pipes. Don't love it, but you know, we're gonna do it. Local plumber. Hmm. Okay, I mean, it could be pretty cool, I guess. I do want to check them out. So, uh, okay. They are definitely pipe-like, I guess. I wonder if they're functional in any way or if they're just for decorative purposes. I could definitely see it placed inside of an industrial style build. I think that would be cool, but not really my vibe, honestly. And I'm just going to dump all these stone hoes in here for now. Oh, I guess I didn't really think about this, but I could have just been trading for the stone hoes and I didn't have to do the pipe. Okay, well, that trades over, but I didn't think about that. And the sun's setting, so whenever we wake up, it's going to be spring. And spring is here. Look at the green grass. I'm so excited, honestly. The water is going to start melting. Oh my gosh, it's already melting. This is so fun. The seasons honestly just freshen up your gameplay so much and it's kind of fun. Well, I'll be back here with the toolsmith soon enough. But right now, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start planting the little wheat field since spring is here. And that means I can start harvesting crops and trading with farmers and, you know, being my little farmer self again. You know, like in Stardew Valley during winter, things just really slow down because you can't really do a lot in winter you can like mine and fish and things like that but honestly there's just not like so much to do in winter it's kind of like that in this mod pack too but i'm gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of wheat seeds and get this wheat field in <laughs> The wheat field is planted and my fields have progressively gotten smaller and smaller. I really have no explanation for this. I will get a path through here soon, but I need gravel in order to do that. So as soon as I get gravel, I will build a little path. But now I want to trade with our little toolsmith and hopefully get some diamond tools from him. Hopefully his trades have restocked and he's good to go. Let's see here. Okay, perfect. His trades have restocked and I guess I'll just continue getting some like pickaxe and hoes. I am gonna have to find some place to store all of these, however. Now he has an efficiency three iron pickaxe trade, which is pretty cool. We are getting somewhere. Do a little dump of all these tools. I guess now I'm going to go and get some of my crops so I can trade with the villagers. I probably should have went ahead and grabbed them. And I really need to just go ahead and harvest the rest of the fields too, because I think I'm starting to run a little bit low on some of the crops. Probably should have just done all of that while I was planting my field.
field, but I, did, I didn't think about it until now. We do have onions. However, I don't think that we have a villager who wants our onions. We do have potatoes, so I'll take these potatoes down to the villagers. See how many emeralds we can get. Continue leveling up the toolsmith. Probably harvest some fields. So it's just going to be a bit of a grinding process. But honestly, I don't mind this grind. I think it's kind of enjoyable, honestly. And believe me, I know that there is a more efficient way to do all of this. I really should be working with multiple villagers, zombie curifying them, doing all of that. I don't know. I just don't really want to do all of that. It just seems like so much work. For now, I'm happy with this small little task that seems very achievable. And then eventually we can go on to bigger tasks and having even more villagers to trade with. But I'm fine with little Nell for now and our little farmer villagers, of course. The wandering trader is here and he has some pretty cool trades, including a bundle and also an oak sapling, a nightshade sapling and a withering oak sapling. There's also this map, an underground bastion map, but I think I am going to go ahead and buy the light bundle because I don't know the sun's pretty cool and with two more trades Nell should be upgraded oh and of course of course he doesn't want to trade me any more diamond axes but I think with this trade at least he will be upgraded to the final level Okay, and now we have a diamond pickaxe. Let's see what enchantment it has. Efficiency one. Really? Nell. Nell, you're telling me that I've worked so hard and you just give me an efficiency one diamond pickaxe? That is so sad. Well, looking on the bright side, we have like five diamond axes, which is cool, I guess. And then also the diamond pickaxe, which is nice, I guess. As soon as I get like four more emeralds, I was definitely hoping to get fortune three, that's for sure. But I'm wondering if maybe we can get a fortune three book. I just feel like it's so not worth it to mine for diamonds whenever you don't have fortune three. It's literally a waste of diamonds. So I don't know. I'm going to have to get that fortune three trade. So I'm going to harvest even more carrots and get even more emeralds. And then I also need to craft a little lectern and get a little fortune three villager. And from there, I traded little Nell to get a diamond pickaxe and then rolled some librarian trades. It probably took me about one mine craft day to get a fortune three trade but sure enough i got it fortune three oh my gosh 44 emeralds and i have exactly 44 emeralds perfect thank you elanese thank you so much and i have my little diamond pickaxe have fortune three we are good to go i'm so relieved that that is over now i'm just gonna use this anvil over here by the blacksmith and go ahead and combine fortune three with our little diamond pickaxe and there we go we have a perfect diamond mining pickaxe so i'm going to go ahead and clear out my inventory a little bit and get ready for caving and then i can finally start to get some diamonds i know that this episode has been very grindy and slow paced however it was a necessary step in order to do some fun things you have to do the boring things in order to do the fun things so with this set of armor that we're going to get in today's episode, we will actually be able to explore and I kind of want to start with the windmill, though we'll see. We'll see about that. I'm just cooking up some food and as soon as that food is done, then we'll go ahead and go mining. I also think I want to bring this bundle with me because I don't know, I feel like we could put something inside of it or something. And also this quiver, I have figured out how to use it. Thanks to you all, I can go ahead and put some arrows inside of the quiver by just right clicking. And that way we can store so many more arrows. I think I saw a couple of comments saying that. So thank you so much for that because I would not have figured it out. Now we're finally ready to go diamond mining. I'm so happy to finally get diamonds. Actually, okay, I have six diamonds. How many diamonds do I need for a full set of armor? I need 24 diamonds. I just looked it up for a full set of armor. So that means I need a total of 18 because I already have six. So we are looking for 18 diamonds. And of course, the more the merrier. But at least we have to end this little trip with 18 diamonds and i am going to head down here just because i know that i can get to diamond level pretty easily however i might be doing a bit of branch mining once i do get down here i'm down at y38 now so let's see if i can get down even further 
cobweb entanglement. What is that? Discover a spider cave. Oh, look on the mini map. There's a spider cave over there, apparently. I don't particularly want to explore in the spider cave, so if I can avoid it, I'm going to. I think from here, I'm just going to staircase it down a little bit because I'm not really finding an easy way to get down low. I'm sure I could find one, but you know, I'm just gonna staircase down. Oh, okay. Well, here's this little thing that gets me a little bit lower. Whoa, okay. There's definitely stuff down here that I haven't explored yet. So I guess I might as well explore and then I can kind of do a little bit of branch mining if I'm not having any luck exploring. Though I have been down pretty far. Just, you know, there's definitely places I haven't been yet. Could I make that fall? Maybe I'll do this and then I'll try to make the fall. <gasps> Well, I didn't see that creeper before I tried to make the fall. All is well though. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of branch mining. Look at that, we already found some gold. And fingers crossed that this doesn't take too long and that we get lucky and we find some diamonds pretty quickly. <gasps> Yay, diamonds! The silver keeps on tricking me and I keep on thinking it's diamonds, but we actually found diamonds. Okay, let's see how many. One, which equals two. Ooh, another one, another one and another one that gave us eight diamonds imagine if we didn't go through all that work of getting fortune three we would have only had four diamonds so now we only need 10 more we can do it i guess i literally have no strategy here this is the weirdest way ever of getting diamond armor i don't know why i decided to do it this way i am not like at any specific y level or anything i did this like whole weird thing with the villagers and like trying to get fortune three that way but hey it's going to give me diamond armor so i guess i'm not going to complain sounds like we have some zombies nearby i think that i'm pretty close to a cave i think that's safe to say you know just a couple just a couple zombies at least two oh okay there's definitely something there what do i do how do i go about this i'll build myself a little tunnel so if i need to retreat then i can go here and then like fill it in oh okay they're down with me Oh, I really need to light it up because if I don't, then they're just going to keep on coming because there's probably a spawner. Oh, there's definitely a spawner. Okay, well, I put a torch on it, so maybe it'll be okay. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Do you hear them all? Oh, they're all right there. They're literally all right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you see all of this? So oh. Oh. oh, look at all of them. There's so so many. I don't think I've ever seen this many zombies ever. Oh my goodness. At least I'm able to cheese this kind of. It's so quiet now. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Wow. I've never seen that many zombies ever. Wow. 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 Okay. Let me light this area up a little bit, kill the remaining mobs, and then I'll check out that little room. That's actually pretty cool. You know what would really make this cool? some diamonds if i could find some diamonds that would be great all right let's check out this little room there's a bunch of gold some copper Ooh, a lead some horse armor i'll definitely take this lead though that's pretty cool i've been needing a lead might as well take the gold honestly might just leave the copper some dirt okay more horse armor and that seems to be about it. It's like another one of those dungeon rooms with the cave spiders that we saw. So I'll keep this little area in mind. Might as well get the gold too while I'm at it. And if we want to, we can come back here and build a little XP farm. Though I still need those 10 more diamonds. So back to looking for me. And from there, I did some branch mining and exploring and actually went back to my base to clear my inventory a little bit. I was just having no luck with finding diamonds. And I was actually just regretting my decision of not not trading with villagers to get diamond armor but sure enough i found a geode and i was hoping that the geode would lead me to diamonds and sure enough it did i found a geode geode lead, lead me to diamond <gasps> diamonds it led me to diamonds and i found plenty of diamonds more than enough for a full set of diamond armor so i collected all of those lovely little diamonds and headed back to my base I quite literally just came back from my caving trip. And if you look at the mini map, there is a whole entire troll outside and I want to fight him. So let's quickly craft our full set of diamond armor and fight this troll. And I'm also going to clear out just a little bit of inventory space because what if you drop something cool? So let's make a chest plate.
white, some leggings, a little hat, and some little booties, and that will do it for a, our full set of diamond armor. Now let's get the bow handy. Uh, maybe you should make a new shield. Oh, do you see him? Oh my gosh, look. Does he see us? I'm actually really excited to fight this troll, but also I'm kind of scared. I've just never fought a troll in Minecraft before, so like, you know, I gotta try it out. There's also going to be other mobs too that we have to worry about. Okay, he definitely sees me. Look at him! He's actually so cute! Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, okay? You ready for this? Because I'm not. I'm not ready at all. He doesn't seem very angry, but you know, I feel like he probably is a little bit mean. He looks like he's just chilling, you know? What? Why was that so easy? Oh, he dropped something. He dropped orc skin. Oh, he's an orc. Okay. Well, I was expecting more of a battle. That's for sure. I was not expecting three shots and that's it. That was so anticlimactic. Okay. I think I actually saw another troll too. I don't see one. Oh, do you see him on the mini map? Okay. I thought I saw another one too as I was coming down. Oh, Okay, you know, these mobs are actually harder than the orc was. Look at him. Will he attack me? Should we find out? Hello? Hello, orc. Okay, yes. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, so the orc will actually attack me. That's good to know, I guess. So he's not just like a friendly little orc because I would feel so bad if he was. And then he also dropped a lead, but I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool, right? I wonder what we can do with that orc skin. I kind of want to check it out. I will definitely admit though, I was expecting a whole on battle, not just like whatever that was. Let's search orc here and see what comes up. I mean, honestly, I'm not finding much. These torch berries are cool though. I did see a comment though saying that I could put the little at symbol and search the mod pack for all the items within the mod pack. So let's do that. I'll do add then adventure Z. There's a dragon saddle. You need orc skin and iron nuggets. That's cool. A little handbook. Okay. This is cool. Look at this armor. It's kind of like the armor trims that is going to come out in the 1.20 update. But maybe we can explore this little mod pack kind of here soon. I definitely want to see what this dragon saddle is about. I'm not sure if there's really much exploring it, but I don't know. I kind of want to look into it a little bit. I saw a few people suggest a name bear for our dog because he was beside of a bear. And I think that's literally perfect because honestly, he kind of looks like a little bear, doesn't he? So as soon as we get a name tag, I will for sure name our little pupper bear. And look at my armor. It's all sparkly. How cute. But I think that I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I hope that you still have enjoyed it, even though that we didn't really do like a big project necessarily in today's episode. But I still feel like we made a lot of progress. And I think that in next episode, I want to do a bit of exploring. So thank you so much for all of the love that you all have shown on this series so far. It's honestly been just a little bit overwhelming if I'm being completely honest. But I love and appreciate you all so, so much. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.